It's actually in the movie. These, those weren't added in. That is actually in the movie. What bloopers? What did they see and thought it wasn't good enough? Generic intro in the Dr. Gilly's movie here, back with another nostalgic critic video. And today we're doing Master of the Skies, which is apparently one of his best videos that he has ever made. It was the most liked comment on last week's video, which was my first time ever reacting to one of, or seeing or reacting to their first viewing, which was of Kangaroo Jack, where they're absolutely hammered after watching Green Lantern. You check out my reaction to that video, I'll leave it right up there. I'll also link down below in the description, also in a place on my channel with all of my other nostalgic critic reactions going in chronological order. But apparently this video is old, it's apparently really popular. I have never Never heard of this movie apparently it's even worse than freddy got fingered i definitely need to do more of those first viewings uh, especially the one about freddy got fingered because that review is perfect but i really hope you're having a wonderful day shout out to the patrons they get the videos day early and allow me to have a payroll channel could not do this if it was not for them they also allow me to donate the first day of ad revenue if there is a charity shout out to in this video but there is whatever this video makes in the first day will go to that charity and i will do that in next week's video i could not do that if it was not for uh the patrons so shout out to them i do read all your comments whether you're a patron or not whether you're subscribed or not but I hope you are subscribed. I should also be live today at 5 p.m. playing some Minecraft Monday. I'm working on a giant mountain in survival that I've been working on for months. But let's go ahead and jump into Master of Disguise. All right. Now, I have never heard of Master of Disguise. Um, it's apparently a movie, and this is apparently one of his better reviews. So we're going to give it a shot, and we're going to see what is so crazy about it. It was... a one of the best, most liked comments on last week's video, which was the first viewing in Kangaroo Jack. Definitely going to do more of those first viewings. Definitely going to do more of those in the future, for sure. Because that was hilarious. Especially, like, Freddy Got Fingered. But, Master of Disguise. I don't know what the plot is. He's upset already. Why? This is a good April Fool's video. No? Okay, okay. It never ended. It was only 80 minutes. Oh. Still would have recommended. Third worst comedy? Third? What's the other two? What's one and two? Who's Mike Nelson? To review a bad comedy, it's a comedy. is one of the toughest things to review. Because there's only so many times you can say, that's not funny. And on top of that, only so much that a person like me can take. So... Rather than look at this film as a comedy, I'm instead going to look at it as cinematic suicide. A oh. film that wants to die and it's tries apparently... everything in its power to die. What was the that budget? Way, when I shove it up Dana Carvey's anal passage, I will feel no guilt whatsoever. Oh, okay. With that said, Master of Disguise. Mm -hmm. It's apparently one of the movies of all time. Is it a pirate movie? I call this movie the crowning achievement of failure from production company Happy Madison. This is Adam Happy. Sandler's production company that seems to oh. reward this strange phenomenon that despite someone like Sandler having many different talents, he somehow makes millions by insultingly using none of them. And thus, Happy What's Madison wrong with Waterboy? Other comedians make money with no identifiable effort whatsoever, and because this has atom bombed career after career Bench after warmers. career. Okay. I don't know what they do. Maybe it's like one of those Harry Potter ring rate ripoffs that just come in and suck out all the funny uh, out of you. Uh, and one of those often funny comedians that seem to suffer from Happy Madison's touch of death is Zanakari. This was an SNL cast member who had a great talent for impersonation. He and looks kind of familiar. Maybe it's just because he kind of looks he like Ben Stiller. He had a couple of hit movies with his friend Mike Myers Wayne's World. Wayne's World and Wayne's World I haven't too. seen it. But Heard of it. Never seen it. But his star was having trouble finding a solar system to call its own, and a lot of his projects were starting to tank. And whatever measly speck of hope he had left was sodomized and buried when he wrote and starred in this He wrote it? Shit. How bad is it? He well, wrote and starred in it? has given it 1%. And according to what I hear, a lot of their statistics have a 1% margin of error. That bad, people! That bad! So what you're saying so, is... Let's see why all of... It could be 2%. This is warranted. This mm. is Master of Disguise. And he wrote this why? Really? Just 1%? Oh. 1%. So we start out with some background text. Is that oh, like 1% people, people like it? Madison audience. Better read it for them. Uh, Many centuries ago. Oh. A remarkable family began to practice the magical art of disguise. Apparently they became so good at this that in what? 1979, one of them could transform in into Palmyra. a 2002 looking Bo Derek. What? This is a no is this Game of Thrones? My son. 
I will never tell him of his true destiny. That's James Brolin playing the father of our main character, who was born years later under the name Pistachio Disguisey. Now, you His may name think is that Pistachio. Name is fucking ridiculously obvious, but remember again, Happy Madison production. I'm surprised they don't spell everything out. Is like Happy Madison so, that so their around? Doesn't get confused. Ah, uh, Sophia, what an unexpected surprise, love cake. Of course, the joke is that Pistachio is not very smart, but uh. it's okay. They at least wrote in a boatload of charm for him. Oh wait, they did not. Excuse a young man, I, I couldn't help but notice that you became acquainted with the sidewalk a moment ago. Pistachio, why don't you do one of your funny voices and cheer the kid up? Is that not? Wasn't already? Yeah, what? Oh God. What's his funny voice? Is that going to be the voice he's going to use throughout the majority of the movie? Inject oh. me! Inject me right now! Come on, kill me! I don't want me to die! Just go! Oh, hey, oh. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? You said to stick you. Why were you ready? It was a joke, Rachel. Oh. Oh. Okay. okay. The big needle. Were you just standing with a syringe in the corner yep. the whole time? Yep. You know. Okay. Okay, well, then be careful what you say. <laughs> so he does one of his it's probably funnier than anything else in the movie. The Why don't you get away from me, donkey? What you talk about get away from you? I'm making waffles. When did this come out? Mm. After Shrek. To be fair, it wasn't that funny when Shrek did it either. Oh, I see you like my dog. Well, perhaps your papa will buy you a dog. I never had a dad. A dad, why, 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 why. <laughs> so what you might have figured out early on is that Dana Carvey seems to have the basics of comedy a little backwards. Which it's not funny is... voices and faces that makes a character. It's a character that makes funny voices and faces. Uh, and this one has little to no identity outside of an over-the-top accent. He wrote and starred in this, so nobody was able to offer input him. Watch or change and learn things because <laughs> it was his I got the design. Of meatballs. That is offensive. Maybe that's why he can't hold down a girlfriend for two minutes either. Look, two minutes. Shows, the silly voices, the making faces. It was fun for like one second. Oh my god! One that's second. Movie. That's the movie right there. You summed it up in one. Yeah, second. literally. How did you do that? How how Something are you self aware and still is finished? That character this is based whole on thing. investment, and it's hard to be invested in someone who clearly is not invested in anything going on around him. But instead, um. how silly he can make his performance. Take a look at this scene and tell me if Carvey, oh, I'm sorry, the incredibly Why washed out pistachio character, shows any signs of caring when he discovers his mother and father have been kidnapped. Oh. Ransacked. Everything different. What do I Please, Heavenly Father, show me a sign. Is he praying to a donut? I promise I will never mock you again. My family is missing and I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Is this he supposed to be funny? smiling with his mouth open. I think the music is actually trying harder than he is. The cannoli is a better actor than him right now. I at oh. least believe it's a cannoli. I oh, don't know what it's a cannoli. I don't know what to do. I, I don't know. Yes, go lie down. Being unfunny can take a lot out of you. I... What? So they make an exorcist joke because... An exorcist it joke? Existed. What? And he's visited by his what grandpa. What year did this come out? says he can help him get his parents back by using the family talent of disguise. Unfortunately, they don't seem able to disguise him as a funny comedian. When you were on the roof, did you hear something that sounded like this? Yes, exactly yeah. that. Here's another big problem. I'm sorry, I hate to pick apart every little bit, but bad comedy has to be understood if it's not to be repeated. Which I'm sure this film is going to do a lot of anyway. Slapstick yeah. is funny because of cause and effect. Not Somewhere just... in the mix, somebody has to suffer. That's the nature of but comedy. Just now, brushing you can off like delay nothing. the reaction or have the reaction That's happen to somebody animal. else. But bottom line, somebody has to be in some form of misery. Carvey, however, throughout the entire film, just smiles this dumbass smile. If he's not going to be hurt by any pain, show What's the, the reaction point? of the confused person trying to hurt him. That would be funny because they're not getting the reaction they wanted. Yeah, no, that would be way better. The audience expectation, give a payoff or at least some understanding that that's what you're trying to do. But nope, dumbass smile. That's all we get. Get me some man-sized meatballs. meatballs. Oh, no. Meatballs. Is he gonna take it too literally? More yeah. likely. If my mouth open makes him laugh on baby geniuses, it must make him laugh here. 
Look, what? that face might entertain your one-year-old for an hour and a half, but Will asshole, it? you are on SNL! You have to know more than this! I mean, it's like somebody chopping off my I head with a sword and nobody ever had Did not reaction. watch SNL. Okay, is this going to be like a thing yeah. with you? Yeah, apparently it is. Seriously, every single time I make a joke, am I going to have to look behind my back and make sure you're not going to kill me? Well, Maybe. You know. No, I don't know. You're sending very mixed signals right now. I thought a sword has a, like a handle well, I'll just on the blade. Go do the Rachel-y things I do. I thought you were standing in the corner, ready. Somebody's so, talking if you're in the background. wondering why the hell doesn't just Grandpa go and save the parents? Why well, doesn't it's he? it's because the ancient book of disguises, which is a pop-up book. It's a pop-up book, book, of course it is. he is not allowed. Uh, why? If a father and mother are missing, only a son who has become a master of disguise can save But he's not a master of disguise. That's the whole... Help from the grandfather. But of course, it's a prophecy. Himself doesn't include as much help as fucking humanly possible. What with him training his grandson, giving him all sorts of tools, and sharing everything he knows about disguising. But to be fair, he'll need all the help he can get as what? his father is being forced by Data. Oh wait, this is what? evil Data. So Lore, to use his disguises to steal priceless artifacts, or else he'll kill his wife. Become a master of disguise once again and help uh, me obtain the world's rarest treasures. Okay, and that's why he took both of them. That makes sure. That make that makes sense. But that's in the, that wasn't an nostalgia critic thing? He put that in? That's actually in the movie? Okay, I'll give this movie one point for making me laugh at a fart joke. That's actually very difficult to do. That was, it was unexpected. Funny. But thank God our heroes are doing more important things. Like what? Like dressing Carvey up like an Indian Steve Carell. The question is not who I am, the question is who are you? I know who I am. I am Prince Lalejama from the Ringy Dingy Heights near Bombay, Calcutta, and New Delhi, India. Is this offensive? India. Good fuck, he's making the guy from Short Circuit look politically correct. Hey, honey, what is for dinner? Anyone can put on a disguise and change his voice. That's another Good. totally legit criticism of the movie. Yeah. Do you need me? You, you seem to be doing well on your own. It seems to be well aware of itself. <laughs> Is it... Was it purposeful to make it like this? Yeah, you like the cheese. Like even a cobra cheese. You know, here's just the notes on that scene I took. And... I think that about sums it up. Rachel? But they better no? hurry. Oh, he didn't say that loud because... Forcing Carvey's father to disguise himself as the only celebrities this movie's budget could afford... What celebrities are those? ...handing over priceless treasures. You've got serious mask head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I... Why are you laughing? It's not funny a second time. You know, damn that movie, you got me to laugh once. You got me to laugh once at a And then you ruined it. Fucking uh, fart joke. And I'm taking and it back. You, you ruined it. You yeah. totally did. You flew too close to the sun on wings of flatulence! Shame on you! What a sentence. So it's decided that the Master of Disguise needs an assistant. So they go ahead and put an ad out for one. Well, I was executive secretary for huh. Jensen and Lowe. Get out! Wow. Get out. What are you doing here? History! Run! Huh. Wow. And in answer to your question, why does he look like I have no he idea makes fried chicken? Wrong with any of these applicants. Like, yeah, he literally looks I like Colonel really Sanders. He just tosses them all out because they think Some a reason. tracking shot is funny? Idiot, get out. Get out. Maybe like the rest of the film, it assumes it can supply a decent comedy by supplying no decent comedy. Uh, not nowhere. 50 losers. But the kid he comes across earlier turns out to have a steaming hot mother, of course. Who also happens to be showing up to apply for the job. Oh really? How can how convenient. For a uniform. 35, 24, 34. <laughs> you said 34? <laughs> a little bottle. <laughs> All right. Mouth open is still funny. <laughs> so she seems smart, intelligent, and quick on her feet. She might and be yet the perfect she's candidate. There. Except for one problem. Her butt is too small. No, really. That's what they consider a problem in this That's movie. The, like, but what about the other candidates? Piccolo? 
you know, this movie would so get has canceled. Has this actress gone on to anything else? Okay, good. So she's doing well. Then. Okay, that's good. Okay. Um, I'm gonna write her an apology card anyway, because Laura knows somebody has to apologize. Is she gonna be to in her. this? Deepest condolences for being in this movie. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I I know it won't make up for it, but you know, just is she actually being this? That would be awesome. And some chocolates, you know, just something nice to send. It is Valentine's Day when I'm recording this. Hey, maybe it wasn't all that bad. Got chocolates, you know, just just something to. What else? Just something. And a check, you know. I mean, for God's sake. I mean, it's. I'm sure she got paid, but whatever she got paid, it wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. I got. Wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. So they find a cigar at the scene of the crime that belongs to the Turtle Club. Why would so you leave what does he that do? there? Dress up like a turtle, of course. Wait, now, what? keep in mind, this is the image that appears the most in all the Him episodes. as a turtle. I mean, he the does kind of look like a turtle. Guy. This is the character that they like to really push. The so, turtle. obviously, this is the comedic highlight of the movie. This is what they want you to remember the most. And are you turtly enough go? for a turtle club? Are you a member of the turtle club? Am Look I at... not turtly enough for the turtle club? Wait, that's what that's okay? from? He's fine, turtle. I thought that was like turtle. a meme. Turtle. Um, do you think we can go in for a moment? <laughs> Mouth open is too funny. <laughs> turtle. Turtle. He actually has a turtle show on his back. Turtle? No. Not turtle. 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 And it's just that throughout the majority of the scene. Oh, is I take it back. There is making one those moment noises. where he bites a guy's nose off. What are those effects? So there's that, but otherwise. I wonder how much time they spent on except that. Except him shouting, turtle. 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 Now, movie, I. I want to be serious for a moment. Yeah, and really? I just want to ask, in all honesty, nothing ironic, no cynicism, no, just straightforward, man to man. What did you think was going to happen here? I what, what, what don't was the know. Mindset? D -d did you really think that years later, I'm sure the comments are going to try and explain back, this. Analyzing the turtle, the brilliance of the turtle scene. How did they do it? Turtle scene. Ungodly genius. So many various levels in which it works. Also, we should is he not even like disguising it at all? comedic masters that come before us. Who's on first? Groucho Who's on first? Lucy and the Chocolates. <laughs> Fucking turtle. Of course, naturally. I mean, I I'll, I'll, actually saw I'll, that. I know that is who's on first. Movies when they were I think those guys are actually the in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Of the generation. only non-baseball players in there, I think. Well, it was not so much the hey, conception that one would perceive a turtle club to be merely for rupt house, but the fact that well, he amphibians, repeats but... the word turtle over and over. Are turtles amphibians? I'm pretty sure they are. No, no. Or do the they hold their breath the in the water? Turtle over and over. I still don't get it. He repeats the word turtle, turtle. and growls like over a turtle does. And over. I still don't get it. Well, fuck you. I thought it was fun. Die! So they trace the Cap cigar back to Lore's place, which of course means he'll have to don another disguise. Oh, yeah. Obviously. Uh, some people live from my misery. And this is Hello. that disguise. When other people can literally turn into complete other people. Uh, Who is he yes. supposed to Continue be? Continue in the Mike Myers tradition of being so wrapped up in how funny you are that you barely even look the other person in the face. No, no, no. Chicken satay. I get that little stick stuck in my esophagus. <sighs> Not a chance. Okay. Why did you touch it then? Now I'm going to ask you. Have you got a little wiener and some tiny nuts? Sorry. You know, I could tell just by looking at you that you had a little wiener and some dinos. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> us. That... <laughs> also, this is before he took the glass out of his glasses. I can't even have fun watching this movie. <laughs> I 
the... Oh, hi, Jim. Oh, bye, Jim. Goodbye, Jim. Hi, Malcolm. Oh, goodbye, Malcolm. Cameraman! <laughs> It, the, the pipe still. Get it out of your system? Okay. Where was I the last two minutes? <laughs> Broken. Very, very. Just not with us. That was, that was rough. That was rough. That was a rough one. So, I don't know. I felt like that screen was... A, Around for a long time. Uh, yeah. No, I understand. Yeah. All right. All right. Bye. So, um. What? I might be going away for a while <laughs> after this review. Just a heads up. Uh. But wait, you want more annoying there's impressions cows. without any rhyme or reason? Don't worry. Is he gonna turn into a cow? one two minutes away. Because apparently the guards never realize that if an obvious suspicious person is around, something what? fucking obvious and suspicious is, is going... probably going on. Back taxes for her time as an exchange student at the University of Heidelstrudel. <laughs> okay, he's supposed what? to be German. Two minutes is too long a time to go without another one of these irresistible characters? Well, how about 30 seconds? Let me yeah, get another one. Literally. Now he's that. 30 seconds later, he's another character. The wardrobe is crazy. Ding, 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 ward. Hut one, hut two. I need a Charleston chew. Get it, got it, doubt it. Oh, oh. I did receive a letter. She received a letter. Is that, does get he it, not got it, relate got it. who it is? That's my like, catchphrase. I'm trying to hammer it in. I just know all these characters are going to have spin off shows seeing how so well developed and brilliantly uh, written they are. What was that? 80 seconds of screen time? That's more than enough to leave an impression. Oddly uh, enough, even also, I like the dots around to the villain, they never do seem characters. to stop him from continuing his evil plans. Maybe if they spent a little more time thwarting, a little less time mugging. Thoroughly insane. Uh, Am I? <laughs> who is he pretending? Is that like Britney Spears? Is that who that's supposed to be? Don't fart. He's gonna fart. He didn't fart. Oh my god! It was actually funny again! I'm not even joking! They're gonna that ruin joke it. actually became funny again this time around. It's like for all the terrible I mean, you're expecting going on in this it. movie, there's a fascinating journey of this one joke and like the I feel like they put more thought into that in one joke evolution. than anything else. That's actually kind of fascinating. Fart joke, how do you do it? It is all part of the journey. I simply go wherever the golden path may take me. Well, I certainly look forward to what you discover next, Fart Joke. Uh, Peace be the humor. Cool runnings to you too, Fart Joke. Cool runnings? I've seen the movie. Good movie, good movie. So Carby asked for assistance from his magic ancient ball. Yeah, one of those is in this now. And he gets help from his grandfather, who, just to clarify is... again, can't help him. Of course I'm not. a pre-recorded hologram. What is your question? I fear I have can't. not mustered enough energy to overcome our enemies. Pistachio, I was hoping you'd be here. Huh, that pre-recorded hologram was able to, to know, know the kid. kid would enter from the left. And not be freaked it's, out the, at all that there's a the giant joke. scary head hovering over him. It's fine. That's a it's crazy, a dirty bubble. So crazy. It just might work. And it's also aware of that. He sneaks into the bad guy's hideout as a cherry pie. Hopefully that's the only cherry Dana Carvey's ever popped. And tries to rescue his assistant and his father, who are apparently being auctioned off on Black Mark eBay. What? That's a thing. Oh, I'm so glad they're waiting so they can all go one at a time. Really? Fucking really? He does the exact same move three times and that scares all the ninjas away? One move? One fucking move? That's... I mean, it's like me using one move to fight off... Robocop? Uh... In an Iron Man mask? Uh huh? With a mariachi hat? Carrying a bow and arrow? With duck shoes? What is going on? Oh, well. No, seriously, what is going on? What is all this? 
you, um, that's why he was so it's my specific. Birthday. Oh, oh. What is that? Why though? Get out of here! Oh, duck juice. But Laura has another evil plan. He's glued a mask of himself onto Carvey's father and has hypnotized him but into thinking he's really the villain. I was going to throw him off a cliff. Instead, what? I think I'll have him kill you. <laughs> How did you get a mask? Is that actually a thing? It's actually in the movie. These, those weren't added in. That is actually in the movie. No, and they ruined it. Fart joke, I have to admit, that last one wasn't as funny as the other ones. Do not worry, critic. It is as I have said before. The journey of the fart joke must blow wherever the wind may take it. True. Well, I really hope your journey doesn't end here, Fart Joke. I'd love for you to keep exploring the possibilities of this realm. So do I, Critic. So do I. Now, I must continue my travels. To where? Uh, what way is wind blowing? Godspeed, Fart Joke. Godspeed. But of course, Carvey convinces his father that he's not lore, and he. Shakes his But on the other off. one, that's a thing. That now. was glued. But the fact remains that the villain still got away. So uh, through the means of they're no going to be a sequel. Costa Rica. We just uh. want to get to the end credits. They discover where Lore is and trick him by having Dana Carvey do the only thing he was ever good at to begin with. What? Imitating Bush. A different Bush this time, but don't worry, the annoyance still comes through. Uh, would you mind if we had a picture together? Hmm? Uh, take your time. Now I'm ready. Is it me or is Brent Spiner trying to transform into Screech by the end of this movie? It's you! Zoinks! But he actually figured it out. He knocks him out by lightly tapping the side of his head and he falls into the pool. And is there's no left guard? <laughs> Why is... He makes it stinky. Who's <laughs> your... Fart joke. That's the end. Fart joke. That that last one was terrible. I know. I thought you already left. I you know. get... <laughs> but clearly my journey is There's old. there's gonna be another one. It's my smelly time in this world there's gonna be another one. To an They're not done. Fart joke. No, we've had such an incredible journey together. Have we? You've totally changed my outlook on what bow humor is capable of. Critic, wise man once said. When the story is over, what? close the book. Did you just quote the first Herbie movie? Maybe. Really? Goodbye, my friend. He's gonna come back. And There's remember, gonna be another one. I am the breaking of the wind. No, Fart Joke, no! You can't leave yet! There's so much more you can teach me! Like what? Well, now I guess actually gone with the wind. Fart Joke! Fart Joke! Okay, bye, Malcolm. Again. Is he actually gone? Goodbye, Fart Joke. I'll remember you always. <sighs> Why have I never heard of this terrible movie before? God damn it, movie, you killed the Fart Joke! And just when you think they couldn't possibly kill anything else, the movie decides it also wants to kill our time. Yeah, just when you think it's time to by go home, going it turns one out the by movie one. is only an hour and 12 minutes long. God, it feels such an eternity longer, but nevertheless, that's the running time. So, they literally fill up eight minutes of credits with bloopers, alternate takes, what bloopers? scenes. What bloopers? What bloopers? forcing you to watch all the special what did they features see of the DVD thought it wasn't good enough. Fact, you'll never be interested enough in seeing them. <laughs> the skateboarding dog. Aww. Aww. And it just keeps going and going and going and going. God, Jesus, just end! Love is thicker than your behinds. Oh, oh. Just end! How about this? This is the one. And also the colors are just so rough. Is that it? I did not mean that Safi dummy. All right. It's not over. It just keeps going. What are you people are still doing here? You tell me, asshole. You're the one keeping us hostage. You just saw the movie, okay? I'm trying to movie. talk. Movie. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. So anyway. <sighs> it's not over. Go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Is that it? Is that really is it? it? Is it? 
Are we truly done now? No more dogs. Ah! Happy Madison. Oh. That movie is the worst. It's amazing it's... how unfunny it is, and what they confuse with comedy. If you gave your toddlers a camera and told them to film something funny, I bet you a million bucks they will come up with something funnier than this. It's one of the uh, worst comedies of all time, and for I, good I don't, fucking reasons. I guess reason. it's supposed to even be a comedy. Did have Who's that the audience for this? Worked, even the movie found a way to kill it dead in its tracks. Because I don't that's what the know movie does. who it kills this was intended comedy. for. And all I can say is, I'm gonna miss you, fart joke. I'm gonna miss you. I'm the nostalgia critic. This was you rough. You fucking fart joke. This was rough, rough. will remember my birthday. Oh. Okay. Uh. Spared, I guess? Save? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I Malcolm saving the day. I knew Malcolm was gonna come back. You're fired. Oh, yikes! Happy birthday. Oh. This was, this was something. This is rough. Like, I enjoyed the uh, the Freddy Got Fingered review so so much. This, the movie is so bad. So, I mean, the review? The review of this one's good. But, oh, holy moly. That was... Something. That was something. It was rough. It was like sandpaper. <laughs> so bad. It's so bad. Okay, oh, Freddy got fingered. Wow, you're just gonna suggest that one. I don't know what the next Nostalgia Group video is going to be. There's over 100 on my channel. People all the time recommend ones I've already done, so definitely go check out some of the other ones, or you can just search it on YouTube. You just be like, the duck goes moo, Nostalgia Critic, and whatever it is, or you can probably find it. This was an experience. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Nonetheless, I definitely feel like uh, part of me I, I left behind 30 minutes ago when I started this video but I really hope you enjoyed this video hopefully it made your day just a tiny little bit better I look forward to the next one I look forward to reading your comments and I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you're subscribed and patrons get the videos a day early and support the channel and um and yeah just oh uh, I have to go live stream and that's gonna be so much more enjoyable <laughs> than watching Master of Disguise I don't know if anything's ever gonna beat this but I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day but until next video take care and keep the music